Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Tiger Like. And, uh, yeah, Pole Isolation. Great map. Alright, so, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Also, comment down below what are your thoughts into this video, and without further ado, let's go jump straight into it. Okay, and so, I'm going to be spawning at the lower left-hand corner of the map, and the tiger like will be spawning right around here. Okay, skip the container collection port, uh, portion of this game, or of this battle. Okay, so both of us managed to collect a decent amount of containers. Okay. There you go. Alright now, so we see here those assaults. So this guy is just basically using Assault, Cerberus, and so on. Meanwhile, I saw a Typhoon here and we'll try to intercept it with an Armadillo. Okay, using a common production boost to speed up the process of production against all, I mean for all unit types. Okay, there we go. See here the Scout, okay, still HQ2. Okay, that Cerberus is uh, anti-infantry, anti-tank, anti-helicopters. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, passive the wasp here. Managed to destroy a, a typhoon around there, reducing the anti-air capability of this Cerberus. Okay, using the acid strike. Okay, I'll have my uh, wasp retreat. Passive the Cerberus. Huge chunk of damage around there. Rifleman doing their thing against the hammer. Oh man, the dragonfly actually sacrificed himself for the better good. And yeah, I mean, just like that, one active skill took out a porcupine and an armadillo, but Cerberus needs more buff. All right now. And so, Cerberus again, shredding those units apart. So, yeah. Yep, severely damaging that armadillo. Alright, well at this point in time, he's almost got the super container, but of course, without any protection of, of those, uh, from those typhoons, it's not going to be good. At this point, I switch to a resource for production boost to, of course, um, increase the resource income per minute to, of course, gain base development faster. Okay, you skip that portion. As I'll go ahead and obtain that super container. Okay, HQ level 3 is now here. Okay, added two more supply centers, porcupines, and a dragonfly to gain high ground view against those cliffs, or at those cliffs. Hidden some infantries around here to, of course, gain view as to where that seraphim will, come, will, will be coming from. Okay. HQ level 4 around here. Hidden infantry again to gain high ground view, and there's that uh, seraphim. Okay. High ground view, helicopter, air raid boost, yeah, three porcupines firing at the seraphim damage, damage of the porcupine to a seraphim or level 3 armor in general is absolutely trash, 140 plus damage per missile, as opposed to the typhoons which deals about 250 plus, double, <laughs> more accurate too. Okay, there's that cyclone who's actually trying to get rid of those hidden infantries that I hid in the forest to gain view, which is absolutely great for him. And here goes again that Serafima trying to cause some damage. However, he still managed to fail to you know to fail because of that hidden infantry. And at this point, I'm going for Hawks here to of course zone out that annoying Serafima. Leviathan will now be produced. Uh, I'll go ahead and save the resources for that. Alrighty, nothing really crazy here. Leviathan will now be in production. And, uh, yep, Cyclone Seraphim. Okay, good combination to reveal the units and destroy them as well. Sky right here is going X facility level 3. And uh, this is his base. Okay, good scout, I have to say. Okay. 
trying to damage that uh, Seraphim uh, with the Hawk that I got here because obviously any damage is welcome and it's considered as free damage. Okay, I'm gonna have to obtain this super container by sending some of my forces to obtain it while leaving some porcupines at my base to zone out the Seraphim. Leviathan is out here, so yeah, it doesn't really matter if he has a Seraphim or not, it'll be destroyed. Cerberus, again, making its appearance. Okay, Hawks here, of course, to help out with the uh, defense against that Cerberus. Okay, Cerberus uh, low on health. Oh, there's like three Typhoons around there. Oh, come on, come on. Alright, it's been destroyed. Gonna have to retreat. Oh, and lag in boy. Con okay. I lost that, um, well, hawk. Alright, gathered the super container. Added more factories in the airfields around here. Alright, albatross here. More, um, units. And he's actually moving his army to attack me. Let's see how this plays out. Okay. Mammoths firing from afar, however, I don't really have a critical mass of those mammoths. Again, acid strike. Nuclear will now be launched as a follow-up. Yay! Boom! Solid hit. Huge chunk of damage. And again, that Ser Seraphim. Okay. Yeah. Still live to see another day. And there you go. Hawks to finish them up. Solaris active skill destroying a porcupine. Hawks are now going to destroy as many things as I can as they are badly bruised up. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So it's going to have to retreat. And I'm going to have to use this opportunity to um, attack. However, thanks to lag at this point, I did not really manage well, as the circle thingy keeps popping in and out of my screen at this point, making it uh, making micro control almost impossible for me. So, mole is now being produced, as you guys can see on the left-hand corner of the screen. Okay, shield has been taken out. Cerberus jumped inside the chameleon fog. Levi oh, those vertex are actually here to support and destroy my. Uh, Leviathan. Okay, miss a shield. Okay. There you go. Cerberus has been destroyed. Okay. God, <laughs> the machine gun take destroyed that thing. Okay, I I lost a lot of my army, including all my hawks, and yeah. It's not really looking good for me as, of course, the circle thing keeps popping in and out at this point. Since I am on mobile data, Wi-Fi is out. Annoying. Alright, so Mole is here. Building up the Mammoth count. I only have one poor uh, Chameleon. Slowly building up the uh, Albatross count here as well. Okay, he's trying to see where I have my airfield. Okay. I have like four mammoths now, more mammoths on the way, got like five. Okay, again, establishing that hidden infantry. Super container appearing right here, I'm not gonna obtain it. Okay, now again, I'll use this tactic right here in the, the hopes of baiting the skills of these guys. Now I'll use the mole, put up the turret, cover it with chameleon, deal damage, and retreat. Okay, here we go. Okay, baited some Thor damage here. Okay, so those Thors actually bombed the turrets. So that's not really good. However, that's good intel that I knew that he has Thors. Now, at this point, I'm going to chunk up the anti-air here or rev it up quite a bit. I got like um, porcupines around here. However, that's not going to be enough. So I need more anti-air. Okay. I'm going to have to move my units around here every now and then to avoid an effective bombing run. Again, repeating the shenanigan here with the mole turret, covering it with chameleon, dealing damage to an enemy for free. Okay, trying to go scout. 
Okay, I'm going to have to retreat as there's like Cerberus right there. However, just one turret here. Let's see. Yay! <laughs> Covering it with the chameleon. Okay, that's free damage. <laughs> okay, and then cost a little bit of damage in that Zeus. So I'm going to have to retreat now. Okay, Hawk Scout. Four Thors right there. Really, really good count. And uh, yeah, Vertex trying to destroy that Hawk. So it's going to be destroyed anyway. So I might as well try and use the Hawk to attack those Thors that are docked. Causing damage again. Softening them up. Oh no. Okay, it'll be destroyed. No problemo. Assault infantry around there. Okay. So he actually was impatient and he attacked my army. Or he scouted. Thor's around there. Managed to bomb. Not really a direct hit. Although severely really damaging my porcupine and or chameleon. However, at the expense of a lot of Thor's. And then, of course, right after he bombed, I bombed the airfield. So, no more Thors for you, my friend. Unless you finished an, an airfield on time. Okay, here he go. He's gonna go from below the cliff right there. Or at the very bottom side along with that annoying Serafima. And so, I'm gonna have to retreat. Okay, retreating, retreating. And, ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Alrighty. So, Seraphim has been destroyed. Jaguars are so smart. Okay. Acid burst. Nuclear. Kablooey. Okay. Good damage, although those are not the units that have been affected by the acid strike. And so, he's just going to have to bulldoze his way in here. Okay. Trying to bomb. Okay. And at this point, I ran out of power energy. And so, I'm going to have to use emergency measure. I'm already rebuilding an airfield around here. As I'm expecting him to destroy my airfield. Okay. Reconstruction boost. Of course. Yay! Okay, so he's actually going after my uh, vehicle factory. Okay, I used to come and attack this to speed up the Leviathan's uh, or to add more speed onto the Leviathan. Okay, barely managing to destroy both my vehicle factory and research facility for the heroes. Continuous uh, airfield or albatross production there as the albatross are now housed at a different airfield. I lost majority of my jaguars there although I still have my mammoths here along with my albatross. So it's just a matter of time repairing those things. You're gonna have to try and bomb them. But thanks to my anti-air and scout I actually see or saw that it's coming from afar. And so he lost its army in the Thor. Yeah. Okay, again, Serafima. Three porcupines around here. Destroy instantly destroyed one porcupine. Wow. Well, at least it destroyed the Jaguar. Newly produced units. Lag in boy here on my end. And so again I'm gonna have to use that annoying albatross and bomb that avia factory no more thors for you my friend okay a bunch of mammoths from the far okay firing at those uh, zeus again albatross it's payback time for the x facility kablooey okay no more heroes for you my friend kablooey Alright guys, so, I mean, it's already clear as they have to win this battle. I mean, if you guys are liking this kind of content, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, let me know what are your thoughts into this video. 
Also, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming up from my channel. And of course, share the video to other social media platforms or to your friends. I also have guides playlists that you may also share to your partners for them to learn to play like this. Imbuy, Tracy no. Well, anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your bets. Okay, so I'm using the mammoth to attack and destroy that special vehicle factory from afar. However, those zoos are just acting like a fire assault. Oh, it lived. Yay! And again, Albatrossi. Oh. The bomb DHQ, just for maximum emotional damage. <laughs> All right, G G. Yay! Yeah! Ah, oh, that inspection. No more army for you, my friend. GG. Bye now.